Hi, this is Shana. Welcome to my channel. And as usual, we're going to take a look into the energy surrounding you this week. And uh, we have three possibilities to choose from, pile one, pile two, and pile three. You can pause the video if you'd like, take a deep breath, think about yourself, about your life situation, and then pick the right pile. So I will see you in a couple of moments. So if you chose pile number one, this is your reading. So with the amethyst heart over here. Now, what are the energies surrounding you this week? We're starting with the tarot cards. We have the ten of cups. Oh, wow. We have the two of wands and the Ace of Wands. So, pile number one. Wow, what a rush of energy for you this week. And you're going to be feeling very, very, very happy this week. Um, it could be something that happens, something like good news, uh, things, um, you know, going your way, everything falling into place, things going away. It could be also that there's a lot of serendipity taking place as well. But it's like, it's not just serendipity, it's just like the, the, the culminating of a process of positive thinking. I have the feeling here that there's a lot of transformation in your life. Um, and it's like, you, this is a turning point. I'm getting this energy from the two of wands, actually. Because you're ready to step out. You're ready to, to go out into life, to throw yourself into the, into the streaming of life, into the river of life, and have new experiences and manifest new things, new people, new situations, and start a brand new life. And it could be that also here, because we have the Ten of Cups, you have really good experiences, happy experiences with family and friends. And I see you going out, doing new things, meeting people. And it's really like positive, happy experiences. And you feeling safe, you feeling loved, you feeling, you know, and you can feel loved by friends. It doesn't have to be a partner. But if you have a partner or if you have something, someone you like, then it's like uh, you also be will be feeling loved by them as well. And, and I see for some of you, you start seeing yourself also uh, through a new light. It's a new perspective on yourself and also a new perspective on the people around you. Like I said, like it's more love, there's more um, companionship, true friendship, loyalty. And the feeling of being accepted, the feeling of being loved, the feeling of being understood. And this, again, this inspires you to go out. This inspires you not only go out like meeting friends and going for a drink. No, it's like uh, going out, like I said, to throw yourself into life and to go after what you really want in life. You have new ideas. You have new energy. And like I said, it's a new understanding. So this is a new beginning for you, pile number one. Is this exciting feeling of a new life coming in. And speaking of new life, I just saw here this card. There you go. This is the card number 39. It's new life. You're coming out of your shell. It's like this week, like I was saying, it's the feeling of culminating. Is the feeling that the time is ripe. It's like you've been going through this transition. You've been standing on the threshold and preparing yourself. And this transformation has been taking a long time, maybe for you, some of you, even decades. But it doesn't matter. It's like now, this week, is when the egg is starting to hatch. You know, you're ready. You're ready to go out there. You're ready to start living the way you want to live. So this is a new phase coming in. And also there's a lot of passion as well. 
you know, like a, a sexual passion as well, erotic passion for many of you. So many of you, if you are in a relationship, you'll have a very, very fun week. If you don't, you're not in a relationship, the week will also be fun. But um, it could be that um, it's also feeling prepared for a relationship, feeling that the time is, um, that you can welcome it in, you know. And then we have, wow, happy, happy. Again, this week you're going to be very, very happy. You've been, you'll be celebrating, you'll be going through parties. Some of you may even have a birthday this week. Uh, there are parties, there are celebrations, there's a new beginning, there's new life. For some of you, also new love coming in. And, and it's like, again, you're opening the door, you're hatching the egg, you're starting anew. This is just very, very positive energy for you, pile number one. And the message is a bit short because everything is just falling into place. You're making the right decisions and you're deciding also for yourself, for your own happiness. And you know that um, the only way is forward or the only way is up. Then we have here, get grounded. Empaths, highly sensitives, connect with nature. Yeah. So many of you, pal number one, you're highly sensitive and you'll be in the company of many people this week. You will be going out, you'll have, uh, you'll be dealing with family, friends and so on. And will be a lot of different energies. And because you are so sensitive, it can be that this starts, you know, like influencing your uh, energy. You may start either feeling very tired or very restless. And I think from the, the energy of the cards, you probably will feel very, very restless. So here the advice is like, just get grounded, you know, get grounded and breathe and try to come back to yourself, to your own energy and separate the energies. Yeah. So that you can stay in your true field, right? And then not get messed up by the energies of other people, even if they're positive, but it, it can leave you restless this week. Let me see if I can get you here an advice card. Or any further information. Let's see what this... Yeah. Get active. This is this is the week of, you know, go ahead your, with your projects, do what you have to do and move. Be active. Go out. Put yourself out there. Show yourself and smile. I see pile number one. I see you with a big smile and enchanting everyone around. You know, like being really charming and fun and lighthearted. So, wow. Now let's see when it comes to love. When it comes to love, what are the energies surrounding you? Pile number one. This week, what are the energies surrounding you? Pile number one. What are the energies? Well, here we have a very soon card. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. And love yourself first. Like I was telling you, it's like you're focusing on yourself. You're doing what is right for you. It's like your own happiness. And it's like, you, like you're feeling open to love, right? And it's like telling you, what do you really want? What is it in love that you need right now? What kind of, oh, this just fruit that you need. And express your love. Go ahead and make that romantic a gesture. For some of you, this is really like express your love. But remember, be always true to yourself. And they may be even like some of you will get messages this week or you'll be uh, messaging with someone you like. It could be your partner, of course, but it could be someone else. If you're single that you're messaging, I, I see texting, a lot of texting, a lot of giggling and being all smitten and it's really sweet. So there's a lot of flirting is what I get here and it will happen soon. And, um, but it's like, again, it's, telling you to stay grounded. Again, stay grounded. Put yourself first. 
Let's see what the other cards say. So what does the other card say? Wait a second. Oppa. Here we have Dodge the Bullet, Infinite Possibilities, Decisions, Decisions. And back of the deck, we have I'm Sorry. Interesting. And here back of the deck is Search for a Sign. Interesting. The thing is that I like this message here very, very much. Because some of you, the feeling I get with the cards, you still be... I think these decisions, decisions will have, have to do with this very soon. But, and this dodge the bullet would love yourself first and then express your love, endless possibilities. Why? By seeing these cards, I have the feeling that probably some of you have been mulling over, mulling over uh, like a past disappointment in love or something that happened. And it's like telling you, you know, everything in the past that didn't work out was the best that could happen to you in case you're still wondering you know in case you're still out what if if i had said this if that had happened and you know like maybe if we had turn, taken another turn the our future had been completely different but it's like the cards here are telling you rest assured it was the best that could happen you know whatever it was in the past that was the best that could happen to you you just have to make that decision to move forward in life. And I think this is what you're doing this week. You're moving forward because there are endless possibilities in front of you. And some of them, actually all of them, you're not seeing none of them. You're not seeing how, how rich your future will be, how abundant it will be. And that's why you still look to the past, right? But it's time to change direction. Wow. Wow. So for some of you, that will be very valuable. For others, it's like, uh, for, example, for instance, if you're chatting with someone online and that person, you know, you start feeling like something is dodgy, something is strange here, you know, listen to your intuition because there's more fish in the sea that's more suitable for you than someone that doesn't feel quite right. Let's see if we have... Oh, okay. Wait a second. I... Hey, what just happened? Wait. Just give me a second. So some advice for you. When it comes to love, pile number one for this week. What is the advice for you when it comes to love? Pile number one. We have love makes the difference. Love can help heal past hurts, there you go, and provides a sense of security, self-worth, and importance. So put yourself first. Love yourself. Because very soon other possibilities will come to you, and you'll probably, the latest at the end of the week, you will notice this, that uh, there are a lot of interesting people that find you interesting, that find you amazing. And... Uh, and there's something to do with music, a music event that kind of kind of trigger in a positive way a wonderful change. Also in the in your self worth, some of you are traveling. It's like there's something different because we also have the two of wands, which is also a sign of traveling. So some of you may be traveling this week, but this travel will open your eyes to your self worth, will open your eyes to your self love and self care, and suddenly you'll see this. Many, 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 many positive uh, possibilities in front of you. It's like the world is your oyster and you're going to notice this this week. And bottom of the deck, the union of hearts. There is a connection of love that defies explanation. Yes, and it is waiting for you. You may be one in the past that defies explanation, but neither of you were ready probably. So you def you, you've dodged a bullet but I think there's another, for many of you, there's another beautiful union coming your way. And for some of you, if you're happy in love, then this is the present one. <laughs> okay, so pile number one, 
this is your reading. I hope it resonates. I hope it inspires you. And I wish you a wonderful time full of love. Thank you. So if you chose pile number two, this is your reading here with the milky quartz heart. So I'll put it over here. Now, what are the energies surrounding you this week? Pile number two. First of all, we have the eight of wands. Then we have the queen of cups. And then we have the judgment card. And here represented by the fate, the Moirai. Okay. So for you, pal number two, situation, so your life, uh, your situation, see, I'm talking like all confused uh, because it's going to be a bit of that energy this week for you as well. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of things that are up in the air and waiting to fall in place. And But there are many things at the same time occurring at the same time. And you may feel a bit overwhelmed by this at times, but it's also very, very exciting because they're all positive things. They're all um, wonderful possibilities that may just manifest the way you want. And there's a lot of communication. So there'll be a lot of texting, email, uh, calling, you know, there's a lot of communication happening this week. You know, there are a lot of people contacting you this week or you contact contacting other people and it will be very pleasant, but it will be all very fast and very bubbly and very uh, on the go the whole time. So it's an upbeat and very positive energy surrounding you this week. With the Queen of um, Cups, there's also a sense of healing here. There's uh, There's like a quick healing for you, you know, or you're a quick improvement of your situation when it comes to health or, or even um, psychological stability. You're improving, you're healing, you're healing your heart, you're healing your emotions. And here with uh, the fates, I see here like um, a new chance, a new start, a rebirth, a reawakening, and it's going to happen fast. For some of you, maybe you've been working on yourselves for quite some time, and now you'll start seeing results. You start feeling better. You start feeling stronger, empowered, centered, but we in a detached manner. So it's not empowered like, so uh, go get them. And so now it's like in a, in a very peaceful way. You know, you have all this energy around you, but you, you feel grounded. You feel peaceful. You feel uh, centered, you know, in your core. And uh, our core, of course, we all have different elements and so on, but it's always a quiet place. You know, it's a very intense place, but it's very like quiet because it's our energy. So there are no distractions from the outside. And this is how you feel. And it's like you're really bathing in love, in self-love, or better said, in the love that comes from within. And really, and this love heals you. So you'll probably also be getting a lot of attention from loved ones, from family members, from people that really know you and can really give you a sense. I just saw 333. So, um, oh, okay, okay. So that's what the cards are telling me. Okay, with the 333 is a lot of creativity as well. So... I was telling you that love will give you that sense of belonging, you know, and feeling at ease and peace. But of course, we have the Eight of Wands. Again, there's a lot of energy going on. And uh, then there's the creativity. That's why I was being shown the 333, because there's a lot of creativity going on. So you're feeling very inspired this week. You're having lots of new ideas. And you start, you know, have something to write with while, you know, be it... Uh, you know, an app on your mo on your mobile, or you know, you have like a, a notepad, something like that, where you can write and write all these ideas down because you'll need them later. And this is a really start of new projects, new ideas, new visions, and you start working on them. And it's really giving even character. Some of you will be writing. I'm getting writing the whole time, and music for some of you. This also be the case. 
And some of you actors as well, you'll find the character. If you're struggling with the character, you'll find it. But this is really very specific. But you're giving life to your ideas. And again, it's so much energy, so much creative energy, and that you really have to center yourself. But it's like you're in the eye of the hurricane. There's so much happening around you and also in your mind, but you're actually quiet. You're really in the eye of the hurricane, and it's the best place to be, you know, given the circumstances. So this is a really upbeat, active week, and also a, a week of um, healing and being in contact with yourself. Yeah, and also very creative. Then we have here chaos and conflict, 33, there we have it again, ha. and uh, chaos and conflict, and it's here like, I see here in this case, in this energy, is removing the conflict from your life, they will be a bit chaotic, like I said, a lot of energy and a lot of ideas, and it can be a bit overwhelming and confusing, so there's a bit of confusion here, but it's like, the, through the chaos or through some conflict that may happen this week, you see the true colors of other people and who they really are, and also your own true colors by the way you react to it, right? So you see here, this is a zebra um, camouflaged as a giraffe and uh, a, a short-necked giraffe. But now it's like you see with the conflict, all this fake skin, it's uh, torn away and you can see the, the zebra underneath it. So I, it's like people showing their true colors. And But I, the, the energy is so positive. So some situations that are actually toxic for you, will you'll cut, you'll cut that thread and end it, right? Because you're doing what is best for you, what is best for your heart, what is best for your well-being. So this being centered is very positive because you know, you can tell. And you can tell right from wrong and you can tell like a true friend from a um, fake friend. And the fake friends, you'll just say bye-bye to them. And then we have here number 46, Regeneration. Again, this is a card of healing. This is a card of second chances as well. So it's a second chance for you at life and also at certain projects or certain jobs. Whatever the case is, you're getting a second chance at life, at love, at career, whatever it is. It's like it's card is reminding you it's not over till it's over. So heal your heart, you know, straighten your crown. Sorry for that. Straighten your crown and get back in the game. It's not over till it's over. And your healing. This week will be about healing. It will be by settling the chaos, by making sure you're in the eye of the hurricane and getting control of your life and your heart and emotions. Then we have here, warrior woman, have you answered your deepest calling? And this is beautiful in this energy. Let me put this right. There you go. Because it's really like challenging you. And I think it also has to do with this chaos and conflict card. It's like, are you doing what you are supposed to be doing? What you were put on earth to do? What your heart calls you to do? And many of you, you really feel this calling. But for some reason, uh, you weren't able to uh, heed it. You weren't able to go after what you want. But... That feeling keeps on nagging you because it's your true calling. The, the feeling that I should, you know, you daydream about it. You want to do it. You really feel the pull. So it's time. It's like the cards are saying, it's time. You know, everything else is just an excuse. And it's okay. You know, if you have excuses for not following your calling, there's a reason for it. There's some fear. There's some doubt, you know, and then it's time to look into those fears and doubts and remove them because they're not your true self. They're makeup, you know, put on us by other people, by ourselves, whatever, you know, caused by situations in our lives. But don't let those situations define you. You are your heart. You are your core. You are your soul and not what society has imposed on you in whatever way so it's like this week you're getting back on track and uh, you are reminding yourself it's like oh my god no this is my path how can i get there what steps can i take 
and you're putting yourself in the right direction. For some of you, you can immediately start and do what, whatever it is you love. For others, the situations may be a bit more complicated, but you will feel so happy to uh, finally rediscover that uh, energy that's, you know, you'll do it step by step in a very loving way because you're then in your energy. It's amazing. Um, I'd like to give a card of advice. Yes, here. So I'll get you some advice here for pile number two. What advice do we have? We have here, look for a sign, but I, I'm getting focused on the lightning. So this is for me also this um, feeling that there's a, a lot of energy going on you know, this week, and suddenly you just have that insight. Suddenly you just know where to go and what to do. And ask others for help if you need it. So they're always also reminding you, you are not alone. And, you know, and also telling you to wait. They also get to you the card, be active. It's like wait for the right moment to be active. Look for a sign. You'll just know. You'll just know what to do and when. So it's like don't go like um, rushing in. It's like saying prepare yourself. Because it can be that you now have the insight, but it will develop in the next couple of months. Okay? So when it comes to love, what is your advice? Not advice, sorry. What are the energies surrounding you this week when it comes to love? Pile number two. Ooh, we have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Ooh, playfulness and flirt. And true love. You got to... Wow. Pile number two, hello. Wow. Okay, let's put it like this. Okay. You're on fire because you deserve love. You are lovable and you're getting a lot of love and attention this week. Pile number two. There'll be a lot of flirting, of playing around. And even if finding your true love, and if you already are with your true love, there will be a lot of passion, a lot of playfulness, a lot of good times. Oh, wow. Pile number two. So let's get more cards. So for pile number two, what are their energies surrounding love this week? Yeah, still holding on. But we have here having fun and we have a message is coming. So they're still holding on and gathering courage here. Um, still holding on could be for some of you holding on to someone from your past and you'll get some message from someone from your past and it will be really fun and it will be lighthearted and beautiful, but it could also be you holding on to your relationship, you know, to, uh, sorry for that, um, a present relationship. You're not giving up on one another and you're finding new ways, new passions, and maybe a holiday together will help you. Um, you know, rekindle that passion. And there's a message coming. There's good news coming when it comes to love. And I think there's someone reconnecting with you. Wow. Wow. So what about advice for you, pile number two? What is the advice for you? You are limitless. Recognize, recognize this truth. You can do anything you choose to do. Oh, wow. You're going to feel so loved this week. You, it's going to make you feel free, endless, and 
beautiful and desirable and yummy and sexy and wonderful. Well, pile number two, you're going to have a great week. <laughs> so, and I wish you a wonderful time. I hope you enjoyed the reading and have fun. Thank you. So, if you chose pile number three with the rose quartz, I don't know, this light makes it very white, but it's actually pinkish. So, with the rose quartz, this is your reading. And what are the energies for you this week? Pile number three. We have here the Five of Cups, you know, but don't be alarmed. Then we have the Nine of Wands and the Queen of Swords. This week is going to be a week of decisions. And there are decisions that are going to be very positive for you. It's like you're protecting yourself, especially here with the Nine of Wands, right? Hmm. Okay, so I'll, I'll probably be a bit blunt, so I hope I don't trigger anyone in a bad way. So, but I'm going to be a bit direct, okay? So, but I'll try to be gentle at the same time. What I get here is like you're tired of crying over spilled milk. This could be a love situation or it could be friendship, career, something you regret, something that either has happened to you or something you've done. Um, either way, it's okay. Yeah, But something that you regret, something you, you know, you cry over, like it was a decision that uh, it was the wrong turn or it was the right the, the wrong time or it was uh, the wrong person whatever it was or you said the wrong things or someone told you the wrong things whatever it was doesn't matter now because you see here with the five of cups you have these two cups still standing so not all is lost there is regret there is sadness but not all is lost Okay, you just have to find your way back home because that's where you want to go. And you may feel like you don't deserve a second chance or you don't, you know, that or maybe the bridges have been burned, but they haven't. The bridge is still standing. It's time to go home. This is important for some of you to hear. I don't know why, but it's time to go home. It's time to go back. It's time to find your way back. I don't know what this means to, you know, individually for all of you, but this is the message that I'm getting. It's time to go back. So it's time to make a decision, you know, and um, it's time, first of all, also to blame yourself for everything. You're tired. You're tired. For some of you, maybe tired at the... There are cycles repeating. You always have to do or to deal with the same situation over and over and over and over again. And this, of course, like I said, can be very tiring. And it's like that song from uh, um, Amy Mann from the film Magnolia. It's not going to stop until you wise up. So it's like we get stuck in a loop until we, we understand what it's all about. Okay, and it happens to all of us. And I think you're getting out of that loop now because we have the Queen of Swords. And so with the Queen of Swords, you're um, stepping into your power. You're owning your power. And the, the Queen of Swords, Swords is also the, the element of air, it's the element of the intellect, of seeing things clearly. So the Queen of Swords is seeing things for what they really are. And... Although the Queen of Swords is not per se cold, but she doesn't let emotions rule her understanding of the situation. So she's very pragmatic and, uh, and she sees the situation for what it really is, is. And this is what is happening to you this week. You're starting to see the situation for what it is. And you can now let go of past pain because you understand the situation and you also understand there's nothing to regret 
It is as it is. It was decisions that were taken, consequences were dealt with or are still being dealt with, but you're strong enough to do it. You know, and you are not dealing, no, no, you're not dwelling in the past anymore. And this is the message of the cards. This, the decision you're going to take this week is not to dwell in the past anymore and to move forward. And this, the moment you make this decision, this frees you. Frees you because if this, look, how can I say? Okay, so. What had to ha what happened had to happen. This is the message that I'm getting. So what happened had to happen. And now there's nothing you can control anymore. You have to allow things to be. You can prepare yourself, but you have to allow things to be as well. It's not in your hands anymore because the others involved have to make decisions as well. So it's not just up to you. It's also up to other people for them to make decisions for the, the way they react and the way they deal with the situations as well. And so you, the best thing you can do is stay centered, stay with your own truth, you know, and protect your truth. This is also important in order not to bend to anybody else's truth or manipulations or even uh, people that are sending you into a uh, guilt trips you know like don't S stand your ground this is the queen of swords she's very logical and you cannot fool around with her you, you cannot i don't know if in english you have that expression as well but you, you cannot oh in english it's gaslighting you cannot gaslight her she sees uh things as they are the expression that i was going to say they, can, they cannot, um, or you cannot send, no, you cannot throw sand into her eyes. You know, in order to confuse her. Uh, no, so you cannot gaslight the, the queen of swords. And maybe you've been gaslighted into, in the past as well. People that made you feel guilty about situations that actually had no control over. And this is also the message here. And you're always like in the defensive is because here, when I see the nine of uh, wands, it's like, it, it's a person that's being constantly attacked, you know, constantly under attack. It's always like, uh, prepared to defend themselves, you know, and then, then this is very tiring. This is very stressful and you can get ill, um, easily as well, you know, in that kind of stress. But this is ending this week. So this is quite positive. So that's why when I saw this card, I had the feeling, no, it's not, it's not actually negative here. May not be easy, but you're turning this around this week. You're saying stop. Yeah. But let's see what the other cards are. Oh, look, we have 17, the fates. So this has to do with what I was telling you earlier. So the situation was probably supposed to be as it is or as it was. So there was nothing you could do differently um, and there's nothing you can do now. So it's in the hands of fate. So it's let go of the past. Let fate take care of it. It's like let go and let God. This is really here the message. And then we have mending 52. And with mending... It's also mending your heart, you know, coming to terms with yourself and your situation and finding peace with yourself and being gentle with yourself. And for some of you, it will be also mending some relationships to people in your life. But it's, you know, it, it has to be a decision you make because you want to and because it's fear. Okay. But I see here this hurt of the past being healed and being turned around into a new opportunities. And then we have, this is quite interesting. You got two cards here instead of just one. The one here, sister, uh, sisterhood of the rose, beauty and devotion, priestess, mystic teacher, share your voice, come out of the cave, persecution, expression. 
So this come out of the cave and share your voice is you speaking up. You know, you staying true to your truth and showing who you are. You know, standing your ground and not hiding and not being afraid, not being afraid of being vulnerable, not being afraid of consequences as well. And owing up to your mistakes, but protecting also your qualities and talents. And you have more support than you think. You have a sisterhood by your side. So you have friends, you have family, you know. And and you have so much to give. And you've been feeling like, uh, like you've lost your chances or maybe uh, the train has left or the ship has sailed. But it's not too late. It's time to, to show yourself, to show your talents and share yourself, share your voice. Some of you will be singers or even music teachers. I got that. Yeah. Now, when it comes to love, let's see what messages we have for you. File number three. When it comes to love, what are the energies surrounding you this week? File number three. We have religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. And then we have romantic feelings. And there you go. Free yourself again. Free yourself. Interesting. Because you see, like with these religious factors, it's like it always shows up, as you probably know, that when there are differences between uh, two people, right? Uh, it could be religious differences, it could be cultural differences, status differences, even age differences. And although there are feelings, and you both acknowledge that there are feelings. There's something here that's not compatible. What is the bottom of the deck? Let go of control issues. Again, this was the message, the whole reading. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. So what you're saying here, free yourself, but free yourself from control of wanting. Oh, I see. I'm getting the, the, the picture. It's like wanting to force a square peg into the round hole yeah trying to force something that is not fitting properly at the moment and trying to fit, you know make it fit you know and maybe this prince is not the right shoe for this prince you know or princess but it doesn't mean that doesn't it won't unfold to that but you have also like we saw the fates earlier put it in the hands of god if this is the right person for you, if you're meant to be together, you will. You know, just be kind, be gentle, be loving, especially with yourself and then with the others involved. And things will turn out for the best for everyone involved. But free yourself from expectations. Take back control of your life. This has been the message the whole time. Wow. Let's see what these cards here have to say. It's from my deck. So, for pile number three, what are the messages for this week when it comes to love? Still holding on. So many of you are still holding on to someone. Oh, okay. Still holding on to new love. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else. Pile number three this week. Having fun. Okay. I think pile two got these two cards as well. Interesting. And then out of the blue. Okay. The message is... Dun, 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 dun. So the message is... Let go of control over the past. You may be still holding on, many of you. And please do take this as it fits into your reality. So, but many of you are still holding on to someone from your past or from an expect to an expectation of the past you see and the message is let go of it just have fun just flow with life you know live your truth this one wants to turn because there's someone new coming in 
that's maybe it's not what you want to hear but it will be it'll, out of the blue when you least expect it this person will suddenly be there and then things will start to get interesting and very very fun now let's see what is the message for you What is, what is the advice for your love life this week? Pile number three. Ask for help. There you go. What is it you really need help with? Be willing to allow yourself the support you need. To allow yourself the support you need. There you go. So if you need help in your love life, ask. Ask your friends. And then the heart of the matter there is more going on than meets the eye recognize what this is all about and sometimes to get to the heart of the matter we have to ask our friends because they're outside of the situation they're outside looking in and they can see it in a more objective way because we're so when we're in the situation we're so caught up with the whole of the complicated drama and so on that we cannot see things as they are and again this is here with the Queen of Swords. This is all about seeing things as they are. So if you cannot in your love life, ask your friends for help. Yeah. So pile number three, this was your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this inspired you. And I wish you a wonderful week full of love. Thank you.